really just a stark reminder, unfortunately, that this virus really doesn't care if you're in a long-term care facility or if you're an elected official. Um, uh, no one is immune. Governor Sununu is speaking about the death of House Speaker Dick Hinch. The Attorney General's office announcing an autopsy showed the Republican representative from Merrimack died of COVID-19. State health officials say they are contact tracing, but wouldn't go into further detail. The Speaker's death comes after in-person events with other legislators. Any of the events, whether it was the, the caucus or the organization day or individual meetings or whatever it is, anyone that was that may have come in contact with anyone known to have COVID or, or they have any concerns, I think you know folks should definitely go get tested. But health officials are not releasing information about whether Speaker Hinch was tested before his death, and they're not saying when his first day of symptoms started. News 9 asked the governor if he's concerned COVID-19 is making its way through state government. We're always concerned. <laughs> I mean, one thing that we're trying to emphasize today is everyone should be concerned, whether it's it's in the workplace at the state house or workplace at administrative services or workplace at Fred's flower shop. Dick's passing is is a I think a real uh, as tragic as it is, as as heartbroken as we all are, it really is a warning sign that we are far from over this. And just because you're not in a long-term care facility, just because you're not uh, elderly and infirm does not mean you are not just by any means immune from COVID, uh, but it can have very, very severe repercussions very, very quickly. And as far as state government's concerned, we asked the governor if any sort of additional precautions need to be taken. He did say that state leaders are talking to health officials to see if any additional precautions need to be taken in the Senate or the House offices. Also, if they feel like they cannot work with COVID-19 guidelines, they need to work remotely. In Concord, Jessica Miranda, WMUR News 9.